Big Ed Barnum here from uh, Big Ed Barnum's Bobble Barn and Garden. With, oh, uh, Screaming Eagle Wilson is here. It's his own damn dome, and Ed was not going to let him introduce himself. Um, with a very important message we for you. We got a very important message for y'all. Why, why, why do these glasses put a, a shadow on my face? Uh, do, do you need me to explain the refraction? Of no. The, okay. Uh, what's opacity? What's color temperature? I don't know. That's just... Full disclosure, five minutes before I pushed the button to send the signal, I said I didn't have the energy uh, to stream, and Cole followed up with, well, uh, I have half the energy to stream that we need, so I think together we have uh, one-sixteenth of the energy, uh, if I know my fractions. Half, half times half is, is a one-sixteenth. quarter. Is a quarter. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. It might be as low as a 16. Uh, but. And, and it looks like I've got this Justin Bieber thing going on with my hair. Hey, he did, he married some lady, and they there was a big... He also adopted mom. some uh, exotic cat thing. that only an asshole would uh, adopt. What, what is that? What do you mean uh, exotic? Like a folks, folks, we don't have the energy to stream, but we have all the energy in the world to shit on celebrities that make awful decisions. I don't know. Being rich and famous seems like an okay decision. Uh, yeah. But, I, I mean, well, I'm not, not sure that's a decision. Mm -hmm. That boy fell through the money tree and hit every branch. Did he? He's if a Canadian. Grows, yeah, so it's, it's getting worse. Is it getting worse? I don't know. I don't. I, you're the only one who looks at or cares about your hair. Hello, Thor20. How are you? Um, I should go over here. We've got some folks on... Uh, Facebook. Face twerk. And, and the mixer. Uh, hi, Amy Adams. Amy Adams, of course, always the first person to uh, join on Facebook. Ooh, well, Amy well 95 to 96% of the time. And, Who, uh, shit. We forgot, uh, we forgot our set's not ready. Ah, correct. Did, turn did the she light call on. us out? Or did you no, she that? didn't. I just noticed it. Amy Adams, you, you've you've not gotten a point towards a prize in weeks. How long have we been here? Three weeks, a month? This is our third week here. Uh, hence the name, what have you, 60 thrice, Cole's Corner is nice. Cole's Cord is nice. No corners in a dome. Hi, Dee Dee Marie. Yeah. Thanks for joining. G-O-D-6. Uh, hi, Candy Veins. Thanks for joining. I, I should. Uh, thanks for the host. Actually, all right. Appreciate it immensely. Thank you, there, Candy Veins. Um, Candy Veins. Like I'm drinking. Like I'm drinking something that in her veins. Earl Earl Cotton Bailey's gonna have his panties uh, up in his crack because I'm drinking uh, Modelo, which, which again is one of the finest club sodas uh, you can you can have. We got this here uh, Sierra Nevada handcrafted pale ale too. These are all uh, leftover beers we had an event. It called Screaming Eagle Wilson Inc. Um, and we uh, over, said, overestimated the uh, attendance. You said you have a, a whole thing of liquor in the basement from the party? Yeah. Including some rosés? I got two boxes of rosé. I got about four cases of Rainier. I'd, I'd I probably... got two or three cases of Modelo. I got at least a half rack of this Sierra Nevada stuff. I've got some uh, Belgian white ales. Thank you, Thor. Uh, and then uh, you, you a have a bottle. You have a bottle of rosé? I, I feel like I feel like some stunt drinking. That's where my day's been. Gross. I don't have. I don't know what's, what's gross about stunt drinking. No, we do it. Stunt drinking with rosé is disgusting. Well, I mean, yeah. You're not going to like when that comes back out. Well, no, it's not going to come back out. I said stunt drinking, not not stunt regurgitating. Although, the two are mostly twain. You know, together. I, I'm pretty sure the word vomit. Is not in the uh, mixer terms of service. Hey, can we say can, what about up Chuck? Up Chuck, up up Chuck. I'm pretty sure is not in the mixer. What about terms hurl? Of service. What about uh, what about uh, toss your cookies or? Uh, uh, Amy, the uh, the ham is not spinning mouth because fart. Uh, the spinning the the turntable is in the shed. Uh, per, and I don't allow potted meat in the in the dome. Yeah, That's this one is one of the rules of the cold. This dome. is a you know, I, folks, I know uh, some of you think, uh, oh, holy shit, man. guys, how do you put on such a professional uh, thing? And how did you it's, get potted meat into cold Part dome? of it, Part of it is quality props. Yes. Like, this they, is not a canned no ham at all. 
uh, normally we keep the canned ham. Usually I have one in my back pocket because you never know. Uh, your back pocket's a pretty good place to keep a canned ham. It has what I call his little bag of horrors. Static ham. And, and it's a bag. It's a shopping, one of them canvas shopping bags. And he just has, he has ham after ham you open. For this? Open. No, I don't need Oh, you're not angry enough. I ain't angry. I'm just okay. telling him what's going on. Uh, and his little bag of horrors is full of uh, ham after ham. It's out, it's been plopped out of its its can and it's just wrapped in paper towels. You probably got you, last time I looked in there, uh, there I counted at least ten, mm. and then I went blind mm. for about a day. Mm. But uh, so if you see Ed walking down the street and he's got one of them canvas shopping bags, right? You take the grocery store where you know you can't they don't have plastic bags here and you got to pay for the the I almost said wooden but the paper ones, you know. Uh, and if that canvas bag, if there are a bunch of flies flying around it, and it's greasy on the bottom, and maybe dripping a little bit, um, there's some quality ham in there. I wouldn't, need, I wouldn't need it at that point, but but Ed's all set. But steer clear, stay stay upwind of it, Moody. You know, I will He's say his little bag of horrors. I will say that Dak uh, Celebrity Can Ham, it's the finest can ham Denmark has to offer. You know, one of the right. reasons, one of the reasons why. Uh, is the brine uh, forms a protective shield around it? Seals that freshness. You can you can drop the ham uh, on the floor. You can use the you can use the ham as a doorstop uh, for four to five hours and pick it up and just rinse it off, and nobody's going to know. Just uh, dice that up and put it in your ham salad. Do do note, however, once you have rinsed the ham, you know you've rinsed the hair and the lint and the dirt that got on it when it was a doorstop. Once you've rinsed that off, you've also rinsed off the protective coating. That is true. So once you've rinsed it, no more door stop. You got about you know eight I mean? minutes. Yeah, you can't you can't go out in the yard and uh, use it for a softball no more. You got to eat it. Now okay. you can, you can uh, slather it in mayonnaise to put a second. You can reapply af- aftermarket a substandard aftermarket yeah. protective coating, but it's not gonna it's not gonna last. You're not gonna get the uh, the durability that you'll get from that that original brine. And and don't be like uh, Scotty Maynard uh, down the street. He peed on one of those hams once and ate it. Um, I, I, I don't know why. Nobody even dared him. No, he it was just, just... He was just... He's a scientist, but, you know. He's, that's Doc Maynard's kid. No, Doc, nobody dared him. And and Doc's a scientist. And, he was just like, well, uh, I'm, you know, I'm going dancing tonight. I don't have anything to do for the next 90 minutes. I, I, I should probably just pee on a ham. See what happens. He didn't. Uh, he did not document his experience. His experiment, though. He just uh, did. No, but his neighbor did. Yeah. Well, Scotty Maynard's not a very good scientist. Like, not like uh, uh, just go to scottymaynardpeasonaham dot com, um, and it's. It's uh, just a gift. It's like it's like Lemon Rrr. Party. If you go to lemonparty dot com, which I, I can't believe I just dropped that. Don't go to lemonparty dot com. Don't go to what? <laughs> nope. Not saying it. Uh, I'm sure the ham had it coming. It probably, you know, I, I had there. There are some smart-mouthed hams out there. Most of them are trying to come up. Right open mics. Right? Trying to come yeah. up. With, yeah, most of them are at open mics. I wanted to do a character once called uh, Open Mike, that would go to open mics and just share his feelings. And uh, how is that different than every other comedian? Well, no, but I, I would just be share, you know, sharing my feelings, not uh-huh. not snarky, quirky thoughts, oh, and got it. curious observations. So, uh, so just, a more uh, honest free therapy, which is yeah. what most <coughs> stand up is. You know, it's like okay, so uh, you you be the host of the open okay. mic, and you say right. your next performer, you know, just open uh, mic. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, let's keep it going uh, for for Danielle and her Wonder Twin. Okay, that's the very uh, brave name. Okay, yeah. Coming up next, we've got. Uh, uh, I think he's first time on this stage. Uh, am I reading this right, or am I reading the title? That yep, that's right. That's your that's your name. Okay, uh, folks. I want to put your hands together and give a warm welcome to Open Mic. There you go. Okay. Thank you. To, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I've been struggling with my weight lately, and by lately I mean my entire life. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell jokes. How am I doing on time? You're done. Two and a half minutes? Okay. Uh, you know, I really wish it was true what they said about men with big feet. I really wish it was true. How am I doing on time? <laughs> Two and a half minutes. Did that really tickle you? Uh, you know what? <laughs> 
I really miss uh, Bandit. He was the dog that I had in seventh grade that was oh. with our family uh, for about a week, but he wouldn't stop humping the couch. So my, uh, I really miss Bandit. How am I doing on time? 20 that's, seconds. That's open mic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. You write that down. I, I actually have written down the premise of that and just a bunch oh, of bullshit. But if I, if I went and did that at an open mic... I guarantee someone would someone would talk to me afterwards because they would be want to be, hey, you're making fun of the craft and the art form, and I was like, I've been doing that for 15 years. Why are you calling me out on it now? Has no one ever called you out on it before? Uh, no. No one has ever called me out on the comedy that I've done. And at, by and by at stand up. Or when sketch. Ed says call out, he means applaud or laugh. Well, no, I mean, uh, I don't want to get into the whole Joker thing. But, you know, there are people who go up their first time at open mics and they basically tell all the jokes that everybody's already told and thrown away because they know they're just hack premises and hack jokes. And usually, a veteran comic will come to them and kind of say, hey, I get what you're doing, but, you know, more work got to do more work more practice required uh all of this is something that you know if i had the slide up how to comment oh i do have the slide but i don't have the price up you know we are working on how to comment 725 dollars uh 725 dollars for everybody that's uh watching the stream tonight um you can get this uh afternoon packed of packed. professional I mean, comedy advice at a date to be disclosed uh, and payment methods uh, to be divulged. Febu February 31st, uh, 2011. Yep. We're bringing this to you. Yep. And put it on your calendar. Uh, I have actually started making the slide deck for that. I think I said that last week. Earl is endorsed by Bestel. Is it Bestel or Bestial? Can it's Bestel. Bestel canned ham. He says it's the best canned ham China has to offer. I know I've seen a photo of Earl Cotton Bailey with Bestel ham, but I want to go see if it's actually made in China. Because you know he's not one to research stuff. Is that that guy's van out there? I think so. it must be. Is he is he deaf or is he trying to stay awake Maybe. by having loud AM talk radio? God. <sighs> Celebrity canned ham. It's cooked. Uh, what else is going on? I got our cheat sheet over there. Uh, preview. I was going to give a garden update so folks could uh, figure out what's going on with my hairy vetch. What's going on with your hairy vetch? Yeah. It's more like fuzzy vetch. Do you ever pull them big yellow squashes out and turn them into jack-o'-lanterns? Not yet. Those are not carving Why not? squash. Uh, because they've not thick enough. They're not. They're they're thick. That's the problem. They're sort of too thick. They got too much meat under that rind. Got it. Um, and they're sort of squat. They make a delicious squash soup. I don't know why I'm talking. When? About <clears throat> uh, as soon as I put them in the oven and roast them. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the hairy vetch. Uh, you should you should Google hairy vetch, right after you Google lemon party. You know that uh, that guy Harry from uh, Harold T. Stone from not Cordy passed away uh, a couple years ago. Dave. No, his name's Harry. Harry Anderson died. Yeah, All yeah. right, I got to I got to fact check you on two, that one. Two, three years ago. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't pull your lariat about that, Ed. I no. thought he was just on a show. No, no, oh, yeah, he, he April had, 16, 2018. Some degenerative disease or something. How did right. he die? Um, that was a sad day. I don't see. Uh, the first part of our stream tonight is just going to be shitting on celebrities for their I didn't bad shit decisions. On no, but the, and the second half is just going to be looking up uh, the died. degenerative diseases that celebrities have uh, succumbed to. So what happened to him? Um, let's see. He had a bout of influenza, and then it was apparently serious enough that he had some strokes. Oh, that's terrible. And then, uh, yeah. 65 years old. So, uh, 
Yeah, let, let, let's move to happier things. Uh, what does this one we, say, boner? Uh, that says book. Uh, we've got some unboxings to do. We're going to unbox a disco ball. Uh-huh. Uh, I put Rescue 911 down there because I... Hey, that's back on the air. Is it? I think so. I, I mean, fell, it's at least in syndication. I fell that. into uh, a deep, dark YouTube hole the other day watching Rescue 911. And Jason Smith, 25, it's, it's, of Park Ridge, Utah, was playing near the pool. It's, it's an exercise in not laughing at people's misfortune. Not because they've suffered some misfortune, but because of the melodrama. It's because of the lackluster reenactments. Yeah. Now, back in the day... That was cutting edge stuff. You were like, "Oh my God, is this? Are we? Am I? Am I there? Are can we I, watching William I, Shatner burn the house down with can this? I, can I help save that boy? Can I get his hand? Got his hand stuck in the drain of the pool and can't get his head up above the water? And the, you know that the poor uh, lifeguard kid's doing mouth to mouth, and he didn't see him fast enough, and he thinks, "Oh my God, you know this kid's gonna die." Because are we really there? Hey, hey, somebody get a pump and start pumping that water out. That bucket ain't gonna, you know, bail the pool fast enough. That was that was a real deal back in the day. I think uh, I, I think my, the biggest lesson I took from uh, watching about uh, nine or ten episodes of Rescue Nine One One is kid kids are real dumb. Yeah, they're always digging holes in the sand. They're and, always and digging they holes, tunnels collapsing. They're on. always pretending to hang themselves and then accidentally hanging themselves. I didn't see that. One. Uh, That's terrible to laugh at it. But they, I never played that when I was a kid. <laughs> Neither you did know, I. We played, we played, you know, guns or we, you yep. know, or we we yep. simulated all kinds of other stuff. But we were never like, hey, hey, let's play, you know, let's play, uh, <laughs> let's play distraught sex offender in the in the jail. Sorry. Okay, I'm done. That's not funny at all. Moving on. What was that about celebrities and dying and making fun? Uh, well, let's just move on. Yeah, let's just move on. That's the reason I had Rescue 911. And I had this idea of you and I just sort of watching some episodes of Rescue 911 and providing our own commentary. And then and then I just decided that, no, no that's real because stuff. That's that's, real deal. You can't that be is going to be actually laughing at someone's misfortune. Yeah. And, and then I had the idea of uh, us producing our own uh, version of Rescue 911 in which we uh, reenact our own accidents. Like, Hey, the, I, that's, I like that idea. I have uh, farted on many occasions uh, and, uh, you know, had, <laughs> had to... Change your pants. Hot step it. Uh, yeah, I had to change Hot my pants. It. So that's that's good for at least one episode. You had to pull up. What's that guy's name on the office? I have to go to the bathroom. What's the big guy? Kevin. Um, Kevin. That's oh yeah, yeah. Kevin. Anyways, yeah. Well, I uh, give him my camera here. Oh, you want your camera? Yeah. I uh, see that. Yeah, that clear as mud right there. I shoved a box knife into my hand all the way down to the bone, chipped the blade, uh, and then we super glued it shut and doused whiskey on it. Uh, I Not was, in that order. I was we, cleaning a glass. Good I was cleaning a glass once. I still have the scar. Mm -hmm. Cleaning a glass once in New York. Didn't have insurance. And I put my hand in the glass a little too far. And it broke. And it it sliced me to the bone. Mm. And I didn't have insurance. I didn't feel like going to the uh, ER. So I wrapped a paper towel around it. And then I wrapped duct tape around it. And then I just didn't take that off for about uh, a week. You just got drunk and slept it off? Yep. Uh, Fartifar says, Fartifar just wrote uh, a novella. Uh, nothing wrong with that. I saw a bee, I saw, I saw a behind. A beehive? I saw a behind the music about Elvis. And they discuss how he wrecked his digestive system with opiates. And they mention that he survived on popsicles for months before he died. And the reenactment showed a fat bejeweled hand <laughs> reaching toward a silver platter of popsicles. And I'm still laughing about it to this day. Where are you going? I ain't got no jewels. Yeah, we don't have any, we don't have any popsicles there either. Yeah, I don't uh, want to live in a world where anymore. kids unintentionally perishing is not funny. That uh, uh yeah, I I, it, I get that. I mean, it ain't funny to everybody, obviously. But you uh, know, Timmy, uh, God rest his soul, he was only pretending to hang himself. <laughs> what a joke! And well, I found out uh, coffins for kids. Just as expensive as coffins for adults. We I tell it. you, no, they're more expensive because they got. That's when someone them. comes onto the stream for the first time and they're like, "Do you get these two assholes making fun of dead kids?" 
Yeah, let's move on. What's next on the bone? What is wrong with cat bone. buyer? Oh, let me see. Uh, holy shit. Catbot. What's Catbot doing? What isn't Catbot? Catbot apparently is censoring organ, organ Freeman jazz. Removed by Catbot. What is Catbot doing? What is Cat? What Catbot, is Catbot? Catbot's a bot that filters out uh, stuff from chat that is, uh, you know, inappropriate based on a setting. And I don't is see... Is it something that, that Mixer does to us? Well, uh, well I'm starting to think that uh, Catbot doesn't like the word dong. <laughs> dong. And Catbot may not like... That's a Vietnamese currency. Porn. The word porn. How, I thought we were... This, what are we... This, are we uh, hey, mi mixering in China? Well, here? I'm going to see Why if Catbot monitors me when I just type... Canton, cock. Canton bot. Dong. Didi Marie. Didi Marie's a... Uh, Hey, uh, Didi, how you doing? Putting herself out there. Oh, no, she's just testing Catbot. Sorry. Dong, well, porn. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what cat... The bots, my my mixer bots are are screwed. Uh, for some reason, anytime somebody farts, hype bot, Scotty bot, I banned... Uh, what was the... Uh, Streamjar had a bot firing... All of these integrations and all of the uh, authentications for these have been removed. So there's somewhere, there's a ghost somewhere that's still letting the bots go Deus off. Ex machina. Uh, so Dee Dee Marie's okay, writing some poetry. So Dee Dee Marie's writing poetry. Dong, porn, schlong, ha ha ha. Oh, heads up, Cole. Or hands up, Cole. What do I do now? This is taking a turn I did not respect. Dong, porn, schlong, ha ha, twat. Yes, we're... So, uh, I don't know. And the funny thing is, Didi Marie, I saw uh, Fartifar's comment about dong because I said something about, you know, how, how, much, how many Vietnamese dong can you get for a dollar? Stupid joke. And I saw Fartifar's comment, and it sat there for at least five minutes. And then, and then cat butt does it stuff. Botted. Ghostbots is real. Um, so, yeah, I I should probably just uh, delete every... Uh, but I've already done that. Maybe Scorp... So, Scorpbot might be up at home in the shed. But uh, yeah. Scorpbot... Scorpbot... Why is Scorpbot Scorp 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 in the shed? Is, Here, aren't these I'm all gonna, I'm gonna test. I'm going to test if Scorpbot is up. Discord. It is not up. I'm wondering if Scorpbot being down, there are other bots that are sort of like, oh, hey, S uh, Scorpbot's down. We should be doing our thing. Uh, this stream is officially done with bots. Yeah, why don't you just debot us? I'm just going to debot all of them. I'm going to go debot that guy in the van. L let me guess. It's a GMC van. It's, no, it's, a, it's had some conversion done on it. It's a Ford. All right. The, Cole might be going out to pick a fight with uh, the guy who's uh, squatting in a van in the parking lot outside the uh, uh, the bunker. This is the noisiest environment from which we stream. There's a, a noisy clock. that. So if you can hear it. It pings on the on the uh, audio meter. That clock is uh, at least uh, eighteen to twenty feet away. Anyway, uh, so we're also going to open uh, a disco ball. You heard me right. And then we're also going to be closing uh, our box of goodies with some things we picked up last week uh, from Magic Box Vending. And if you're unaware of what's in here, there's a, a little zine from a friend of mine who makes uh, weird stuff. There's a, a copy of uh, James Dickey's uh, Deliverance. This is actually the first printing of the paperback. Uh, it existed only in hardback until the movie came out. This is trivia that I know you come here for. Anyway, we'll, we'll catalog everything, but we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put some more things in the box. I'm just waiting for Cole to come back. Did you did you smack that guy in the mouth or something? It's a white Chevy pickup. Yeah. 
with the windows up and the doors locked, lights on, radio blaring, nobody in it. Hmm. So if it, the battery doesn't die in about an hour, I'm going to go shatter the sounds, windows. It sounds like the kind of thing the cops set up to see just who's going to vandalize a shitty truck. Well, <laughs> I've got news for you, Ed. It's going to be me. They got about... When we're done streaming... You want to fill this box up? Don't put that in there. Why not? Oh, I need it. I keep drawing speed Yeah, you, are those balls that you drew? Speed wieners. Speed, double double I'm ball I'm sorry, tea. speed wieners? Double ball tee. You don't know about speed wieners? I do not know about speed wieners. Here, I'm going to... You guys are going to get through the fourth wall. Give me my camera. Here, i got to give you your camera. I don't know if I can do to... it backwards. But so here, this is... Uh, I'll do it on this side. But, oh, that's what we're doing. <laughs> so you got... You, you, hey, you all, you all bored. Maybe somebody you know or you, you share a creative enterprise with is just, you know, gone. <laughs> so you got to kill some time. Take, take your time with this, Cole. Yeah, I know. You got to kill some time. Here, hold on. Where's my... There we go. Uh, well, you can draw stuff. Of course, you can just draw pentagrams all day long, right? You know, everybody knows how to do that. But if you want to challenge yourself to do something with alacrity, it, you you want to draw a speed winger here. We on the camera? Okay. So the essence to a speed winger is... You got one ball, you got two ball, and then you got tip. Boom, that's speed winner. But you got to do it fast for any speed winner. And you got you got a double ball tip. And sometimes they're you know they look a little bit more like a, a you know an onion that's missing its parts. But yeah, I can't. It's hard to do it upside down. Double ball tip. Boop, and maybe put a little tip on it. Double ball. Are we gonna get censored by a bot for this? I can't uh, do it. Here. No. Let's see how many I can so. do in uh, ten seconds. Ed, you you count me down. You ready? All right, hang on, hang on. So hang you give on, me a three, on. two, one, and then you just tell me when to hang stop. Hang on, hang on. I get, I gotta get my uh, a fresh page here. I gotta get the uh, offset right on this uh, okay. title thing here, so I can get it up for you. All right. I gotta get my speed winner, uh, lower third up. There you go. Okay. You, you can see. Three, I think two, I think one, I spelled wiener correctly. I e. Yep. E i. I mean. Yep. Yep. All right. Okay. You tell me when to start. You go. No, no, you got to count three, two, one, Wait. and then you're going to count ten in your head. Okay. And then t say stop when you get ten, and then we'll count up the winners. Got to have right. full winners. So you need to display the blank page. No, I got it. I can't. I, we're, we're, I've shown them how to do it. Now I'm going to do it, but not. What kind of horse shit is this? You'll find out. All right. So count me down. Three, two, one, speed wiener it up. Double ball tip. Double ball tip. Are you saying double ball tip? Double ball tip, 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 double ball tip. You ain't counting ten, are you? Oh, that was ten. Yeah, that's about. That's about ten. You want me to do it again? No, I'm done. I didn't. I thought you yeah, were. Those are pretty weak wingers too. Yeah. So what? It looks. It looks like you're practicing your alphabet. It does. Anyways, put it closer up there. That, that's some high quality speed winger here. Let me turn off the. Uh, no, hold on. I got the. You just gotta get the shimmer right. Look at that. Look at that. Nailed it. Crushed it. Okay. Yeah. But if I turn Moving on. Way. What were you doing over there while I was educating? Uh, I was checking in with chat. What's going on in chat? Uh, step ball change. Step ball change. Speed yeah, wiener. Hey, that's that's the dance stuff. Uh, speed wiener does not have the same ring. Uh, step don't ball change. Me? Finger guns. Um, pretend gunfire, pretend gunfire. That's in a sketch that I just wrote. Um, anyway, so let's fill this up. As you I know, know last week, well, I've got these things that we picked up at, at uh, the standard. He's giving away my deliverance book. Where it's my deliverance book. Mm -hmm. Where we uh, met up with a good friend of the show, Carrie Carter. Hi, to Carrie Carter. Uh, I'm going to pull their uh, Instagram page back up so we can share that. Uh, just so folks... Uh, just just so folks watching us who are not in Portland uh, can only dream of going to Magic Box. Uh, mic check. Um... <laughs> I need to put a hyphen after the dot com. <laughs> Not a hyphen, a slash. <laughs> so I, I don't really laugh like that. Oh my god. Just work. I didn't actually uh, bring, uh, I didn't actually add Switchcast to the, to the assets here. Please, please hold, uh, please hold while I access your account. 
109. Am I going to have to... Uh, let's see what happens here. Display. Added. Here we go. I don't see it. Yes. Uh, if you're, if you're uh, using a Mac in your home, I suggest you do not download and install the latest OS upgrade, Catalina. It's what's a pain what's in wrong the ass. with Catalina? Uh, just all kinds of things. Hey, that was Clint Eastwood with Mayor of Catalina. Or that um, Carmel. Internet that for me, would you? Here, I'll, I'll use my... What, what am, my I, inter what am I interneting? Here. Too late. Fix what it. am I interneting on top of what I'm trying to internet already? You do your internet and I'll do mine. I'll tell you what. You do your internet. Hey, Mixer, are you tired of watching people sit there and play video games? Instead, why don't you sit there and watch people sit there and Google stuff? Uh... What the hell is his name? Uh, there, there are some people that that, that is a uh, kind of what they do on their stream. Uh huh. And then there's just idiots like us. Anyway, there all that no, trouble there, there no to like bring us, up yeah. Magic Box Vending. We looked at them last week. Uh, it's a good friend of ours, uh, Carrie oh. Carter, who has uh, been very kind to us uh, over the years. Uh, she's worked many of our shows, many That's of our true. live shows, and she's been on this show. Anyway, <laughs> we picked up, from their vending machines, we picked up uh, some goodies mm -hmm. uh, that we're going to put in the box. This is going to fill this box up. We're going to give this box away October 25. Is that, the, is that a Saturday? And I know who, too. It says Cole right on the side of it. Uh, we're going to give this box away on our... Spookathon segment uh, that Goldie and Less Than Ooh, Greg are putting together. Scary. It's a charity stream. We did it last year. Had a lot of fun. Are we going at uh, 5 in the morning? I don't know if we're going at 5 in the morning this year. Goldie, why, hey, tell us what's the schedule there. Uh, Goldie's been traveling. Yeah, but she's, I mean, she's on the internet. But, uh, the internet's everywhere. Yeah, so she's been traveling, so she's not put together the details of it. So here's what we picked up. Uh, we picked up a mystery fun bag what's in that it? we're going to put in. I, I've not opened these, so what's in them is going to be a surprise to the recipient. Although this one has like a little bit of an like a an oil stain down here, mm -hmm. so I think it might be some candy or something or something. Did you get any that in there. any wrap snacks? She's got wrap snacks now. Did not get any wrap snacks. We did get uh, his and hers or whatever pronouns you prefer. There's the uh, man's. Porn pins, and in parentheses it says, probably, eh, I don't know how good that's going to come up. I'm going to put these in here. What does it say in parentheses? It says, porn pin, probably. Hey, <laughs> you don't even know if it's a porn so pin. So there's two of them. Yeah, it could be, uh, it could just be a tie clip. It could be a... Uh, like uh, a big cock uh, tie clip. Mm -hmm. I know that's what I used to wear when I would go to Sunday school. Could be a Tom Peterson pin. Uh, then we have uh, a little bag that has XXX on it, uh, and it's but no O's. and it's a leopard skin paper. So I don't think it's poisonous. I think it's sexy because you know how sexy leopards are. And I have to say, I there's two things in here, and I give it to me. They're just sort of, they're just sort of two box like things. It's, uh, oh, that sounds like chiclets. It's edible underwear and chiclets. I, my guess, I, my, my guess, guess is that it's not edible underwear Well, you know what? Whoever, whoever gets this can settle it for us. Uh, whoever gets this, if they're a streamer, uh, hopefully they will open this box and go through it. Maybe, oh, we, should, maybe we should give preference to a streamer. I know who's going to win it. Wait. Uh, and then the last thing that we're going to put... In the box, I would love to do well. I would love to do midnight to three, Dee Dee. Um, no. I don't think Cole wants to do that uh, because he has his uh, morning uh, asanas that he has to do at uh, four in the morning. That's, that's yoga that I do outside of my sauna, so it's it's extra sauna. And then the asanas. last thing that we're gonna extra, put asana, extra the asana. last goodie we're gonna put in the box that we got from Magic Box Vending is an overnight bag. 
and in parentheses it says sleepover kit slash sex packet. Did you get anything from the, the from the box that wasn't sexual in nature? Uh, well, I'm hoping that oh, the mystery. Box I'm hoping not. that the mystery fun bag is for all the family. <laughs> no mystery. In so that. make sure you gather the kids around. It's sex stuff. Uh, so. Make sure you gra- uh, gather the kids around if you win this, so that you can talk to them about uh, sex, uh, edible underwear. Uh, I think that mystery bu- mystery bag has a little piece of fried chicken in it. I don't. I, I That's don't what think, that grease is. I think this is. I think this is. All that crap. I think this is you know. nicely going to come together. There's a right, couple so. peanuts in there, uh, and I Beans. will. <laughs> I I put some of the contents listed on Discord, um, which since Scorpbot's not up, I'm I'm too lazy to go grab the, you know. Uh, I will list the contents of this, and we still don't know how we're going to award this, but this thing... I thought we settled on that, some kind of competition of knowledge you know, or strength. Or wh- wh- what's in it is virtually worthless, but we're going to spend uh, $11 to ship it to you. Yeah, probably. Actually, there are some useful things in here. Well, that mystery bo- that mystery bag, fun bag, has yeah. got chicken in it, and everybody loves chicken. I'm not chicken. sure it's got chicken. chicken. Um, and it looked like it had... Uh, Probably some wet naps, you know what I mean, for after you eat the chicken. Uh, Dee Dee, there is nothing in here that is a leftover sex toy uh, well, you that don't know I that. have possessed. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I mean, it, ca- it came out of a repurposed vending machine in a dive bar. So, I, I'm, you know, has that, has that stuff been used for, you know, pleasure or whimsy before? Entirely possible. Entirely possible. Likely, I would even. I'm say. looking. I'm looking at that speed wiener. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know what? This this one's pretty good. That I've seen a bad. lot of speed wieners in my that life. That one looks bad. I've seen a lot of speed wieners in my life, but son, I like your style. I like your artistic flair. Most of all, them wieners look like they're full of nothing but speed. I think you know what I mean, son. We should we should just write a script called Speed Wieners. I know, we'd have to talk to Joe Frass about that. This, this is his creation. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Speed you know Joe Frice, uh, if we buy Joe Frice a whiskey, he's going to say, guys, speed wieners, it's all you. Yeah, but then he'll forget. He's let us run that uh, yeah. shoot your balls off Gary forever. Hey, that's a good point. Let's, let's, are we tied I don't, I don't know if I have here? that asset in here yet. Hang Make on. it happen, Ed. Use let me see internet. if I have uh, imported video in here. Well, Ed's uh, hey, give me my camera if you can. Or all right, hang on. Something. I can Hang on, let me cancel this. Here we go. Hey, so check this out now. If y'all, uh, I just got a haircut today, because that's what Gary, so Gary out there at uh, 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 Shoot Your Balls Off Gary, they call him, and uh, and he will uh, shoot your balls off, he'll give you a haircut, or he'll rent you a barge, okay, because he's up there in the gorge. And if you need to get a lot of lumber or a lot of processed lumber that's now, you know, pulp or something, you need to get it up the river uh, because... Uh, the, the big ships that are going to go out, out in the ocean there, they can't get past Portland because the bridges aren't big enough, rivers are deep enough. You know, they can get into Willamette and they can get up to Columbia, but only so far. They can't get past Bonneville, you know what I mean? So you got to tra- you got to take a barge through the locks to get your product out there and put it on a, on a ship and take it to China or India or, you know, uh, whatever your uh, the destination port of call is, right? So <clears throat> are you going to pay a lot for them barges? But Gary has got his own secret cache of barges. He's got these little pirates coves that he's that he's dug straight into the walls of the Great Columbia River Gorge. There, mostly on the Washington side, I ain't saying where. Um, but uh, he'll pull one out in the middle of the night. You guys load it up. Uh, he's got a buddy look, works at Monteville Dam. He'll get you through the locks, free of charge. I mean, it's all you know on the hush hush. But yeah, he's got a good racket going there. Um, and if uh, if you're slovenly too, he'll he'll trim up your hair follicles, give you give you a, uh, he'll lower your ears. You know what I mean. Also, um, if if you're plum tired of your testicles, plum tired of your plums, he'll he'll trim that tree for you too. Uh, he'll he'll use a firearm, but you know if you can't afford that, he's got a he's got you know edged weapons too. So, are we going to show him the ad here? You just want me to act it out? Uh, I don't I don't have it. Uh... Hey! I, I, I can pull it up, but it's fine. It plays Look it better. Up. The internet, YouTube, mm-hmm. shoot your balls off, Gary. Yeah. Your, Y E R. 
so we got a couple. Th so then we took care of putting stuff in the box. Mm. Got a couple things to unbox. Uh oh. I know. I know. Folks on the internet love it's an unboxing. People that unbox things. Are we gonna Are we gonna talk about how it's wrapped and and oh, where are the instructions at? And well, this first this item, the cheapest welder you can get on Amazon. Here, here, let me sanitize this so, can, so I don't dox myself for the. Uh, it's not gonna uh, work. Remember. Oh, this is a different one though. Oh. Yeah. What, this is what a, does dox mean? It means uh, you look like an ass. Someone uh, has releases your personal documentation. Plain documentation. That's just your address and real name. Yeah, but a lot of people. What do you mean, my real name? Uh, I want to, I'll, I'll leave people to figure that out on their own. They I, figure it out. I'm a, I'm a man with a weak wrist due to a karate injury in 11th grade. Give it to me. Can you open this for me? That's going to be the the. Ed went to see Karate Kid. Ser seriously. Slipped. I've got seriously. I've got a. Uh, I've got a weak wrist uh -oh. Uh -oh. due to a karate injury. Oh yeah, Here, let me see this. I used to be charming. I used to be charming. Said Ed. By Eve Babbitts. Well, this book's thicker than I thought it was going to be. What's it about? Four uh, hundred pages. <laughs> so uh, Eve Babbitts. Here, let me let me let me share. I, I, I pulled it up. Yep. With Eve's Hollywood, what? So uh, Eve's Hollywood. Eve Eve's Madison. Hollywood was one of her first books. Got it. So she's a woman uh, who, uh, in the late '60s, early '70s, she dated uh, Van, uh, not Van Morrison, Jim, Jim Morrison. Van Morrison's a different guy. Jim Van. Morrison. Van, Van Morrison is Jim uh, Morrison's older brother. Jean Claude Van Morrison. Uh, she dated Harrison Ford. She dated Steve Martin. Actually, she's the person, and this is confirmed in. in uh, in the, the the canonical story, Whoa. Steve Martin confirmed it. She's the guy. She's the she convinced Steve Martin that the uh, white suit that he would wear was uh, was was the way to go when he was doing stand up. Uh, she designed album covers. She did collage art. Uh, I can't show it on Mixer because it uh, violates terms. But if you Google Eve Babbitt's naked chess. You will see uh, an iconic photograph from the time in which she's playing chess in the nude with, uh, I think it's Marcel Duchamp, who is not nude. Um, Here's a quick reading from I Used to Be right. Charming, the best of Eve Babbitt's. Title of this section, My Life in a 36 Double D Bra, or The All-American Obsession. When I was 15 years old, I bought and filled my first 36 Double D Bra. Since then... No man has ever made a serious pass at me without assuring me in the first hour that he was a leg man. Tits? Who I hadn't even noticed. <laughs> That's some satire. I, I, right I, lo I, love your, uh, I love your delivery of that. I, I think what we need is an audiobook of Cole Screaming Eagle Wilson I reading. Let me take some more I used to be charming. Random passages from I Used to Be Charming by So these, Eve So Bates. these are essays that she wrote from, mm -hmm. I think, 76 to 98 or so. Uh, she was always beautiful, always voluptuous, uh, always, most likely, probably the smartest person in the room, in any room. Uh, and she kind of disappeared from the public. She liked to smoke cigars. And I think it's 96 or 98, she was driving around Hollywood. And I don't know if she drops the cigar or oh, ashes no. get on, but uh, whatever thin, gauzy, synthetic garment she's wearing just erupts in flame while she's driving. And by the time she gets stopped and gets out of the car and gets help, uh, about half of her body was uh, badly burned. Mm. And she sort of became kind of a recluse, a little bit. She was always, she's always been a writer. Uh, anyway, uh, Eve's Hollywood. Let's see if uh, her other books are here. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of these books uh, because it, it paints a picture of Hollywood, and not really Hollywood. It paints a picture of Los Angeles, which, you know, a lot of people, Los Angeles is Hollywood, is Los Angeles. But it's not really the case for a lot of people. Uh, and they're great essays. Uh, I have read, uh, this is the only book of hers that I have not read. It's actually the only book of hers that I 
don't have a first edition hardback uh, copy. That's how much I like her and her stuff. Uh, actually, I think Slow Days Fast Company was published first. But uh, I can't remember. Anyway, if you like reading, and you like reading semi-autobiographical essays, uh, and if you like reading essays about random artistic stuff, you should check her out. It sounds like Cole's got another thing going on. From the section, or the essay entitled, Jim Morrison is Dead and Living in Hollywood. J.D. Souther once told me he spent his first years in L.A. learning how to stand. Jim knew how to stand from the, uh, knew how to stand from the start. He stood pigeon-toed, filled with poetry against a mic with that honky-tonk Berlin organ in the background, and sang about another kiss. And there is something to be said for singing in tune. Jim not only sang in tune, he sang intimately. As Doors producer Paul Rothschild once pointed out to me, Jim was the greatest crooner since Bing Crosby. He was Bing Crosby from hell. <laughs> I'm going to read that when you're done with it. It's Are we good giving stuff. this to somebody? Uh, I'm not giving this to anyone. All right. Well, you're uh, give it to me when you're done. And I think uh, if you're interested in reading, I should give you the other ones. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, but you know, how I, you know how I, I have a hard time committing to long yep. books or yep. um, uh, timeshares? Says or, the guy who read East of Eden in like a week. Yeah, but that's East of Eden, man. Yeah. How can you not? Anyways, uh, but uh, that one purpose because it's just essays. You know what I mean? Just yeah. like flip them around. Uh, so that's the first thing we're going to unbox. Second thing we're going to unbox. You uh, that one Cole, I have, a, I have a weak wrist from a, uh, a wiffle ball injury. Uh, when I was a senior in high school. Can you open this for me? Ed practiced karate. These are actually true stories. Yeah, with a wiffle ball bat. That was it his, wasn't a bat. It was, it was his signature weapon in karate. I, I was, karate. I was karate. I was the catcher, and I was tagging someone out as they came to home what plate. What was this? And it just so happens that we were playing wiffle ball. Oh. Not baseball, not softball. I should have just, I should just lie. I broke my wrist playing baseball. You should just be in the honest. minor leagues. I don't. I don't have the the digital strength to rip open a plastic bag. So, Carrie Carter. When we were there last week, are um, we going there tonight? Yeah. All right. God, sooner the better. Uh, I'm gonna fall asleep in about 45 minutes. Uh, Cole has nothing but scorn for the audience when he wants to get his it's drink not, on. No, it's not about getting my drink on. I work. Cole screaming Eagle Wilson Industries is just. Uh, ink is just blowing up. We've been, we've been, you know, nosy to the grindstone, slammed with orders, and we just can't, you know, we're we're working, you know, dawn to dusk, burning the candle all the way around, uh, trying to keep up with it. And I've just, I've been up, I've been into the office by five thirty every every day this week. I've been working till 10, 10 30, 11 o'clock at night. Um, and Ed says, "Hey, why don't, hey, you ready to stream?" I say, "You bet, Ed. Can we, you know, keep it under two hours tonight? Because I want to go." Say hi to Carrie. Get a drink. Although I am feeling a little more energized since I got hair. I finally got a haircut. I've been so busy, I haven't been able to get my hair cut. What's this thing? Uh, so Carrie Carter, when we were there last week, uh, she mentioned something about a USB disco ball. Hey, that's the that's and the earth the ball. And, and I don't care who you are. In fact, if you uh, stop watching this stream right now because you heard the phrase... USB disco ball, and you yeah, thought, good holy shit, I've got to go get one. Oh, okay. That's I fine. will yeah, understand. Do that. Do that. Or, holy shit. Uh, I don't approve of that. Well, then, or, yeah, take off. Or, USB disco ball. Oh, I just fallen and broken my hip. You know, I, I would understand if you stopped watching the stream. Anyway, this is a, this this is a, you know it's going to be good, because it was uh, $5.99 on Amazon. Oh, boy. Oh boy! I'm not. A, I've, I haven't been ordering lots of things from Amazon, uh, just because. Uh, I Ed think, doesn't often order from Amazon, but when well, he does, you know, when he prefer, know, prefers to order USB. Disco I don't like balls. ordering things from the little guy, and you know, uh, Jeff Bezos. You know, he's struggling, and I think it's because he just doesn't know how to, you know, run a company and turn a profit. So I, I like giving my money to the big independent stores. Yeah. You know, like Powell's. Mm -hmm. uh, there's probably a better joke there. If I, anyway, so it's. So it's a USB disco ball, and it's literally, there's a USB plug. We want to plug it in. Then. And I think we're going to plug it in. Do we want to adjust our lights some? Well, you, what are you going to plug it into? Uh, I thought, if we, do we have one of these? I've got, I've got a straight up power. I thought if we just run it, maybe run a USB thing up. 
here. Yeah, here. Uh, knock, on knock, it. Down, knock down the soffit and then run it through there so nobody can see it. Entertain. And then get it on the uh, dance floor over there. Uh, I'm actually going to find uh, some music so that when we fire that thing up, uh, we're not going to fuck around. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Can you guys hear that? Did, did you hear it? I'll stop. I'm about ready to kick the window out of that pickup truck. Well, I figure around 10 o'clock at night, if it's still going, somebody will. Well, I mean... Although, if it's just the radio, it could go all yeah, night long. The lights are on, too. Oh. Hope, so it's going to die eventually, but not soon enough. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go look for... Uh, my favorite disco album, which is a compilation of artists from Lagos. Da, da, da. I can never remember the name of the album, though. I've, uh, where do you, do you need me for them? No. Oh, uh, there it is. I'll put this on while you're, uh, while you're doing it. Nailed it. Boom. Nailed it. Is that in the frame? No, oh, it's, it no, it's not in the frame. Perfect. Yeah, it's, it, it's still in the frame. It kind of, it kind of looks like a speed wiener hanging down. It does. We gotta get that in front of pink. We got we gotta leave it there so people can see how it really works. Okay. All right, I'm gonna... Awesome. Now, do we want to drop these lights? I'm going to drop the uh, our, our fill and our key, but I'm going to leave the kit on. Okay. I should probably turn uh, exposure lock off. You ready yet? You missed the party? Sure. It's on the party. That speaks disco to me. Sounds like salsa. Uh, I haven't eaten all day. I, I, I feel nauseous from that. I am getting a little motion sick too. Uh, I need to check in with chat. I haven't looked at chat in like five minutes. Uh, in fact, no, no one said anything in chat for nine minutes. So maybe we're not streaming. Looks like we're streaming. I can't tell what it looks like on. It, it looks a little. Looks a little like I've got like a with like a burn on my chin. All right, I think we're gonna get off here early tonight, right? I think so. I think mean, it's party time. Yeah, feels like it's me. Uh, I don't know if it's party time, but it's uh, three shots and a beer time. Wait, what did I say? Three shots and three beers. Yeah, you, know, you know, we should probably. You know, this thing probably uh, needs. It's USB, and so it probably needs a good 10 minutes to warm up. It's going. It, it seems like it's, there's a little weird, uh, like I haven't figured out the pattern yet. I don't, I haven't, I haven't seen the pattern. Maybe the pattern is an hour. I've been, I, I just stared into it, and, uh, uh hi, Candy. Uh... So, Catbot just censored someone for saying, Hello Sexy. So, my Catbot settings... Something... Something's bored cat bot. with my Catbot settings. Catbot's a free. Uh, Pumpkin Killers, I apologize. Or is it 8? Pumpkin Killer 8, I apologize for Catbot censoring me. I think we need to... I think we need to... Uh, we can Go spot. kill Catbot. Let's uh, throw Catbot through the window of that Ford pickup or that Chevy pickup out there. Actually, I can't hear it with the news gun. I know. Well, is, it, is it because it's off? No. And it's Fox News, too. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, maybe that's the point. Maybe they're like, I'm going to park my car in Portland, Oregon nope. uh, and turn on 
Fox News and just drive, you know, because everybody in Portland is a liberal. Hey, you know, uh, one of the windows is slightly open. If you see something in here that you think would be better in the cab of somebody's pickup, so blaring out. Candy, ba- Candy Vane's is getting smart. She's trying to circumvent Catbot. She said, hey, sexy, with three X's and still got... Well, that makes it worse. Still got the comment banned. All right, folks, uh, we're going to call it early tonight. Uh, keep an eye out for uh, Goldilocks and the Bear making some announcements for the Spookathon. That's probably going to be uh, Cole and I will be uh, doing... When is that? Probably, I think it's Halloween. October 25. It's the Saturday before Halloween. Uh, and I don't know if it's 24 or 48 hours uh, this year, but we're going to be on... At uh, least 23 or 47 of those hours are just going to be and, big Ed and Cole dancing. And, I, and we're going to get shaken. Uh, I don't know I don't know what the charity is. So hopefully less than Greg has been working on some of this stuff while Goldie's been traveling. And by traveling, I mean getting drunk in, in Orlando. We, we all know Goldie doesn't travel. She just flies someplace and gets drunk. I did not say Sometimes this. Sometimes she gets hammered on the plane. I did not say this. That comment is unclippable. Uh, thank you, Vetter. You have a good night. Uh, I want to thank uh, Oni Chan, Rumble, Fartafar, Dee Dee Marie. Uh, Less Than Greg was on here earlier. I'm probably missing some. Candy Veins, uh, Pumpkin Killer 8. Uh, over on Facebook, I want to thank Amy Adams, Earl Cotton Bailey, Roger Adams, Kathy Peanut. Uh, probably missing some folks that joined over there as well. Um... We will be back, I think we're here next week again, and then I think we're back in the shed for a stretch. This is the party dome now, Ed. Yeah. It, it feels like a party. I'm done there. That's all done. Are you, are you done? Yeah, that's all done. All right, right folks. I'm Big Ed Barnum. This is the Cole Dome. Uh, Cole Screaming Eagle Wilson runs Barter Town. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's the last time I'm going to say that. Not thank you very much. Just Cole Screaming Eagle Wilson running Barter Town. I realize I just said it again. Now I have to say Cole Dome. Uh, okay, you can say it. It's a, it's a street goes both ways. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Hey, we well, let's do it. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much.